Hello friends. Today we are going to take some real life examples and see how they can be written as equations in one variable. We are also going to see how to solve them. Let us start with a simple example. Suppose I have some fruits. I gave four fruits to Chinmay and then two fruits remain with me. Then can we find out how many fruits I had in the beginning? Since we do not know the number of fruits I had in the beginning, if we show it by the variable x, then from the information given, what can we say? I gave four fruits to Chinmay from the fruits I had. That means I have four fruits less than what I had earlier. So we can say that now I have x minus four fruits, but from the information given, I have two fruits remaining with me. So it means x minus 4 equal to 2. If we add 4 to both the sides, then we will get x minus 4 plus 4 equal to 2 plus 4, that is x equal to 6. We had shown the number of fruits I had in the beginning by the variable x. We had used the given information and had obtained the equation x minus 4 equal to 2. When we solve this equation, we got the answer that the number of fruits was 6. Now let us see a second example. I have a friend called Akanksha. This year when I had gone for her birthday, she told me, Dada, I am now double the age of what I was five years back. Tell me how old I am now. How do we solve this problem? We have to find the age of Akanksha on her present birthday. So we will show this by the variable x. Now, Akanksha's age before 5 years would be 5 less than today's age, so would be x minus 5. So, Akanksha's present age would be double of x minus 5, that is, Akanksha's present age would be 2 times x minus 5. From this we got 2 times x minus 5 equal to x. So, we can write this as 2x minus 10 equal to x. Now, if we subtract x from both the sides, then we get 2x minus x minus 10 equal to x minus x. That means x minus 10 equal to 0. So, we get x equal to 10. So, we now found out that Akanksha's age on this year's birthday is 10 years. In this example, we made the equation 2 times x minus 5 equal to x. From the given information and after solving, we got the value x equal to 10. You can see that if we put this value of x on both the sides of above equation, the value of expressions on both sides is equal, which means this value of x solves the equation. I think you must now have understood how to make equations in one variable from the given information and also how to solve them. Let us solve one more example. Nowadays, I am reading a book. Till yesterday, I had read some pages of it. Today, after reading 12 pages of the book, I realized that the pages remaining to be read and the pages that I had read till yesterday were equal and are two-fifths of the total pages in the book. So, can we find out the total number of pages in the book? Let us start like the previous example. We must understand that we have to find out the total number of pages in the book, but the information we have is about the pages remaining to be read and the pages that I had read till yesterday. So, if we show the pages read till yesterday by the variable x, then as per the given information, the pages that I have read today is 12 and the pages remaining to be read and the pages that I had read till yesterday were same, that is x. The number of pages of the book will be the sum of all these taken together. So, we understood that the total pages in the book will be x plus 12 plus x, that is 2x plus 12. The pages that I have read till yesterday are two-fifths of the total pages. When we use this, we will get the equation as x equal to 2 by 5 into 2x plus 12. To solve this example, let us multiply its both the sides by 5. So, we will get 5x equal to 2 into 2x plus 12. That means 
we will get 5x equal to 4x plus 24. Now, if we subtract 4x from both the sides, we will get 5x minus 4x equal to 4x plus 24 minus 4x. That means we will get x equal to 24. So, this means that I have read 24 pages till yesterday. We already know that the total number of pages is 2x plus 12. Since we know that x equal to 24, now the total pages in the book will be 2x plus 12 equal to 2 into 24 plus 12 equal to 48 plus 12 equal to 60. Now we have solved it completely. Did you get it? Let us take another example for learning to make equations and to practice how they can be solved. Chintu, Mini and Raju are having some chocolates. The chocolates that Mini has are one more than the double of chocolates that Chintu has. The number of chocolates with Raju is two-third of the number of chocolates with Mini. If all of them taken together have 19 chocolates, then how will we find out how many chocolates are with each of them? Here, Mini's chocolates are based on the chocolates with Chintu and Raju's chocolates are based on the number of chocolates that Mini has. So, if we know the number of chocolates with Chintu, then we can find out the number of chocolates with Mini and Raju. So, we will show the chocolates with Chintu by the variable x. Now, the chocolates that Mini has are one more than the double of Chintu's chocolates. So, she has 2x plus 1 chocolates and number of chocolates with Raju is two-third of the number of chocolates with Mini means Raju has 2 divided by 3 into 2x plus 1 chocolates. Since we know that all of them taken together have 19 chocolates, we can write it as x plus 2x plus 1 plus 2 by 3 into 2x plus 1 equal to 19. From this, we have got 3x plus 1 plus 2 by 3 into 2x plus 1 equal to 19. Now, if we multiply both the sides by 3, we get 9x plus 3 plus 2 into 2x plus 1 equal to 57. That means 9x plus 3 plus 4x plus 2 equal to 57. We can also write this as 9x plus 4x plus 3 plus 2 equal to 57. Or write as 13x plus 5 equal to 57. From this we get 13x equal to 57 minus 5. So we get 13x equal to 52. From this we will get x equal to 4. So the number of chocolates with Chintu is 4. Now Mini has 2x plus 1 that is 2 into 4 plus 1 equal to 8 plus 1 that is 9 chocolates. And Raju has 2 by 3 into 2x plus 1 that means 6 chocolates. Chintu, Mini and Raju taken together have 4 plus 9 plus 6 that means 19 chocolates which we knew earlier and could thus tally. You have understood all this properly now, isn't it? To get more practice, try and solve this example which is similar to the example that we have considered now. Suppose Chintu, Mini and Raju are having some chocolates. Mini is having one chocolate more than Chintu's chocolates. Raju is having two chocolates less than Chintu's chocolates and also the number of chocolates with Raju is half of the chocolates that Mini has. So can you find out how many chocolates are with each one of them? Write out. 